Welcome to Night Owl Collage. I'm Amber and today I have a junk journal January tutorial for you. Uh, today's prompt is foliage. So if you don't know what junk journal January is, you need to check out Meg Journals on Instagram and YouTube. She does this every year and she has a prompt list. You make a, a um, journal just for January and there's prompts for every day. A lot of people do it. It's a lot of fun. I don't have to I didn't have time to do it this year because I'm going out of town for like two weeks this month. But I wanted to put something fun up for those that are doing this and are participating in it. I'll put a link down to her Instagram and YouTube down below so you can check that out and get the prompt list if you'd like to check that out. But today's prompt is foliage so I'm going to show you how to make these journal cards, these tags, and these journal cards. So these are just um, leaves. These are like real leaves I got um, outside from, so winter leaves that are backed here. Those are really simple. Um, I'll show you a couple ideas for them. And then I have um, these journal cards that have um, some foliage in a window here and then I have one that is the journal card is mostly lamination and you have a small journaling space here so I have both of those I have in green and I have in blue very cute and I have these cute little um, tags with small windows for some foliage here. These are stickers and these are um, artificial stems, from, leaves from artificial stems I got from the store. So we're going to start with the leaf journal card because that's the easiest. So these, you just get some leaves from outside or you can get the artificial stems here. Get something that is that has leaves large enough that you would be able to journal on them. And all you need to do is to laminate, run the leaf through your laminator in a lam between a laminating sheet, and then you put it on. Let me grab a sheet here. You put it on a piece of cardstock or paper that you like. And then, so, cause I wanna see, so this one was blue front and back. So you get to see this blue edge here, which I really like around this leaf. Um, and then I still had the blue on the back. Um, depending on what you would wanna see, I probably wanna see on this one, the edge, this pink color. Um, this pink pattern and then you just stitch around it and then cut it out that's really all there is to it and then I would have this journal on the back so I did that with this more grayish toned paper and you can see that around so you just clip it so I would take these clips I would just kind of cut a a round shape around it and then clip clip it to the paper stitch around it and then cut around your stitching and then for those who don't have a sewing machine or don't like to stitch or this is too complicated of you know just goes around a lot of corners I did try it with Fabri-Tac and that worked fine so I did, I checked, I tried to do this so that it would, I would have the orange on the back, but I didn't, I ended up not liking the white edges and I would rather have flipped it and done the white on the back and seen the orange around the edges. And this one, I just did faux stitching on it with just a, a black pin. So if you still want the stitched look, you can use a pen so no sew option for these journal cards. Really simple. Um, 
so there, I didn't really need to do a tutorial on that but maybe I should <laughs> I don't know let's see I didn't feel like I needed to but maybe I should okay so here's a leaf okay so I'm gonna turn on my laminator here to get it ready and I'm gonna grab a piece of lamination. Okay, so I have a scrap left here. And I'm just going to put this leaf right in between here. Sometimes, I know sometimes um, people learn better like visually and um, some people can learn just by hearing it and hearing the instructions, but some people actually just I really need to just see it done. So I want to be um, sensitive to those people. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like that too. I, I kind of need to see it. Sometimes I can just um, hear it and do it, but usually I need to see it. So I'm going to, oh, is it? Okay, it's not ready yet. Okay, that is heating up. I'm gonna put that to the side. And we're gonna start. Oh, I've got freebies for you too, so make this super simple. We're gonna do these tags first. So the first freebie I have for you is this one. So you can just print it on whatever, this is the going to be my background page so see this plain background back here that's what I want to put my leaves on so they pop here and then I have a leftover tag from the other one that I did so I'm going to use this side so it's going to be like this I'm going to see the window through here but I'm actually going to use this side so I need to cut out the windows in this to put over this okay so and then I put a so I put the windows on either side so you can have whichever so side you want it on and then a plain tag that so you can just print it off and cut that's all you need to do so I made it super simple for you and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these squares So I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife. You could, if you have a scan and cut, you could run it through that. You could just use scissors. I do like my X-Acto knife though. So I'm just lining it up. I'm going on the inside of the black line, so we don't really see that. I don't think we'll see it anyway, but I just like to be cautious about that in case I change my mind on what I want to do. And then we're going to cut the horizontal lines here. Okay, so this is gonna be put on my sheet this way, or my tag this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. So you could use both these windows together cut out both windows and have your lamination in here so that you can see through it i like the background so i'm going to use that so it's going to look like this okay and another thing is if you don't want these squares on the back then you need to 
when we do our lamination part, we need to sew those on, those around those squares first before we sew the tags together. Okay, and but I kind of like it because then you can use these little pieces and put them on the back like this. So I kind of like that and I want to use that. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to keep, I'm going to save all the sewing to the end. So um, maybe we'll do both of those, the windows and this. So I'll hold that for a second. So let me put this to the side for a second because my laminator is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through. Okay. Okay. So we, now we have this laminated piece. And then... I'm going to use that same orange paper. So now we'll see the orange on the outside. Okay, I am going to cut this down to an easier size to work with. So then I would cut this off. Then I would clip this together. And stitch outside the leaf on my sewing machine. Okay? For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use Fabri-Tac to save time. I'm gonna let I'm gonna continue the tags while this dries. You might want to run a bone folder over that just to press it down really good. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. And then we're gonna continue with these tags. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out these squares now and I'll speed that up for you. Okay, so we're gonna put these together like this and our lamination sheet will go in there. And I think I might use these gray pieces here on this tag I already did so I think that'll be cute so I'll use that I'll put that on there okay next step is to figure out what we want to put in this window and that's what we're going to do the foliage okay so I'm going to cut down a piece of lamination and I'm going to cut it to one and a half inches by five inches. Okay, that should be tall enough for us, okay. 
and we'll use the other one for this side. Okay, or the other windows. So what I'm gonna do, and I have, I use the side that's connected so it's just easier to do. So I'm gonna set this in here while I arrange my, my foliage. Okay, so I am using, so I, there's different options. So you can use artificial things like this. Um, you can go to the store and get like stems of the artificial pieces. Um, I'm going to use, you can use stickers like these, um, like these little leaves. That's what I used on the, the blue tag. Um, stuff like this. I think I'll use that on my gray tag. But I'm going to use for this one, I actually went outside and found some stuff that was still green on my rose bush. So that is what I'm going to use this one that one might be a little big we can do small medium large okay so I'm gonna do it like that so these are tiny little leaves from my rose bush. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna take a glue stick just to hold the leaves in the place where I need them to be. Can't have it all shifting around in the laminator. Okay, so that's where I need those to be. I'm gonna take that off. Close that up and then I'm gonna run that through the laminator. And we're gonna do the same thing for this one, but I'm gonna use stickers for this one. I'm just going to put this down here. There's our first one. And I'm going to use some of these leaves. There was one that I really liked. I want to use this one. It looks really cute. This is, this is a sticker book I got from my grabby box. don't know what grabby is I have a few unboxing videos that you can go check out so I'm gonna stick that right there and we'll do the smaller leaves on the other side on the other top and bottom I mean Well, I wonder if this one will fit. Let's see. So that's pretty. Just barely. Got some glue. 
glue sticking to my fingers here and getting on the, the stickers. Okay, and then I'll do a couple of these little leaves at the top. how I want that to be. So we're going to put our laminating sheet together and run it through. Okay. So, now, if you didn't want to see those sewing squares on the back, this is the time you would clip this together. Like so. And then you would stitch around each square. Okay, about an eighth, an eighth of an inch from the edge of each square. But I do want that sewing to be shown on the back. So I am going to put this, go ahead and put this together. Actually, I think it's easier to clip it and then re-clip it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna clip this. And then put this together. So I'm going to start clipping around this tag. And then I'm just going to re clip that. Okay. Then I'll sew around the edge, an eighth inch from the edge, and around the squares at the same time. Same thing on this one. I clip these. And put together. I'm going to do all my sewing at once, so I'm going to set these to the side, and we're going to, I'm going to show you the journal cards, and then we're going to do all the sewing at once. So we're going to be sewing around all the edges. And around the window, one, one eighth of an inch from the edge of the window. Okay, so that's that one. And then the other one's a little more difficult to do, but I will still show you how to do it. So we're going to cut this piece of lamination to a four by six size because that is going to be the base of our card. Our journal clip. Okay. 
Now we're going to take that other piece. I'm going to line this up. The one that I told you to save, the two by three. We're going to place it on here. Place it wherever you want it. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut around that. Or you can take a pen that will write on this and trace around it and then cut. I know lamination sheets can be a bit fiddly. So that's why this one's a little more difficult. Okay, we can remove that. And now we have a window here. Okay, we don't need those anymore. So then we're going to put our foliage over here. And I have some rhododendron leaves from the yard that I'm going to use. So let me see how I like this. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to just put on some glue here. stays in place. Okay, and then we're going to use that two and a half by three and a half cutout that we have to put right in between. And I'm going to put glue around the edges, just the very edge. So this stays in place as well. Glued that right on top of the the lamination sheet. Silly me. Make sure that is even here. I knew that was gonna fall off. <laughs> I should have done the card first. Right. Okay. Okay, and then put my leaf back on. And then we're going to put this on top. Let me wipe the glue off that I got on there. So this is the tricky part. We're gonna have to run, pick this up and try to keep it in place as we put it in the lamination machine. And put the card end in first because that's gonna stay flat when you put it in. Actually, let me put a little bit of glue on the edge here so that stays closed. Like I said, it is a bit fiddly. Okay. So I glued that end and we're gonna run it through the lamination machine. Okay. This is just about dry. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna run that through one more time, going with on the leaf side first, because these are kind of thick, sturdy leaves that don't wanna flatten. And I'm just gonna cut around this. So we're just gonna cut and we're gonna leave a bit of a border here. And there you have it. I love that orange border. It's so cute. And then you just, if you want the faux stitching, you can just take a pen that will write on this um, and be permanent, like a Sharpie pen or an Ohuhu marker. And then you put your stitching around the edge. So that's that one done. So here is this journal card. So I'm going to stitch around the edges and then around the window, okay? So I've got to go do all this stitching. I'm stitching this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I will be back in a moment so we can see how they look. All right, these are all stitched and I just need to clean up the edges a little bit. This um, lamination coming out the edge. Okay, so the little lamination peeking out here. a little bit of the gray cardstock here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, put some eyelets in these and pick out some lace and ribbon that I want to embellish these with, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. I'm gonna use the same green, um, it's, it's lacy, but it's, it was called like hem tape or something when I got it. But I'm gonna use that, I really like it against this green. So I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac here. I'm going to make a just a line where I know it needs to be. And I want it to go in between the stitching, not over the stitching. So I'm going to start it at the stitching. And then I'm going to cut it right there at the stitching. How cute is that? I love it. Then we do this one. We're going to do this one vertically. sad that I'm missing out on junk journal January but you know not too sad because I have some really wonderful things happening this month I get to celebrate my 20th anniversary with my husband so we get to go out of town for that and um, then I'm gonna go visit my daughter uh, in Idaho so I'm gonna visit her for a week it's gonna be really cold so got to buy some thermals but um really excited I mean really good things happening but um maybe I'll do like a junk journal July or something <laughs> and use the prompts then but at least I can do like a couple of these tutorials for you this month 
to help you along with your junk journal January. I hope you're enjoying it. are so cute. I really love these. Oh, I forgot the little tie at the top. I'm just going to tie it like this, I think. This one, I went with blue stitching, so I've got this kind of blue and green um, hem tape lace here that I'm going to use. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I've never been able to use this um, hem tape before. I just didn't have a good project to use it on. But this had blue and green, so it was perfect. look at what we created today so we made these two tags got the blue and green one with the full window and then we have our pink tag with a background in the window and I did put those little squares back here and then we have our full window journal card Very, very cute. And our laminated journal card with this small window here. And we have our leaf journal card with the orange edging. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the this foliage um, tutorial today. So, um, and can incorporate these into your junk journal January. And I will see you again on Thursday for the binding of the challenge journal. So that should be a lot of fun. I will see you again on Thursday, guys. Have a great day. Bye.